All right, so see this little notch? I'll use my, I'll use my uh, punch there. That little notch right there needs to line up with that pin there. That is just a, a, a pin. It, it's, it's like a, 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 a screw that's had one side broken off, and you'll see when I get it out of there. Uh, this is the other side of the screw. You'll, you'll see uh, like the, the top half uh, leaves clearance for the slide. So what I'm going to do is with my right hand, with my fingernail, actually I'll, I'll, whatever hand happens to be on that side, I'm going to push through there, but I'm going to line up the notch. So the way I do that is I hold it in my left hand and use my thumb to push against the sight. You see how that lines up? should be able to see it pretty well there. And I'm going to push the pin from the other side. And it'll protrude just a bit when I do that. There you go. And it'll protrude just a bit when I do that. And then I'm going to grab that with my fingernail. You might have to use uh, like the head of a case if, if, if you don't have uh, if you don't want to hurt your finger. <laughs> okay, so the pin's out. Now I'm going to let it go forward. And it's only going to go forward to like uh, to, to the point where it's in battery. Now, here's the hard part, which is really fairly easy. Let me get the pin out of the way, get the punch out of the way. So again, you're gonna have to manipulate the, the lever here in order to pull the slide back, because remember, you can't pull the slide back unless the lever is there, okay? So you're gonna have to push in on the slide lock and push the barrel back, and what's going to happen is you're going to expose a knurling on the front of the barrel. You're going to have to grab that and hold it and pull forward. It's really odd, really simple. So remember, I have to push, push the slide lock in, have, have to pull it back a little bit. Now with that exposed, so my hands don't slip, I'm going to grab a rag here. I'm going to grab the knurling tightly and pull forward. See? And it, it just, see it slipped. It, it slips pretty easy. Uh, that's it. I've now pulled the slide off. And the reason that happens is, and I'm going to do this here. Uh, see, this should be vertical. That's the lug on the bottom of the barrel. That should be vertical. So I'm going to push it forward just a little bit, and let me do that with the rag. I have a hard time. I just cleaned this and oiled it from a range session, which, uh, which I'll either have in this video or another video. So the lug should be in the center. Now when it's in the center, you'll notice this little uh, bolt, the rear of the bolt, has a little locking lug that, that extends down. And that actually engages on a shoulder right here. So the, the lug will stick down into the shoulder. Now I'll demonstrate when I get the bolt out in a bit. And this is the, the gun in battery. You'll see the position of the, the barrel, the, uh, the, uh, a recoil spring sleeve and all the internal parts that would be the gun in battery with the bolt down and the locking lug down here now the locking lug when it's in battery and I'll line it up with my finger here the locking lug when it's in battery was actually a good bit forward of its locking recess that's because this gun is what, uh, what's been called the, a hesitation-locked firearm. See how far forward uh, in, front of the, in front of the locking lug that is? Now, what happens is that as it fires, that bolt uh, travels back with the slide as a unit, just like this. That little... 16th of an inch, inch, eighth of an inch, however much tr it travels. It travels back a little bit, and, and, and at that point, it's acting as a blowback, but since this is all rigid in here, the entire slide, barrel, and bolt are recoiling. Now, 
they recoil just far enough to where the bolt lug catches on the uh, on the uh, locking recess on the slide right there and then that the the rest of the slide travels back and then lifts the locking lug up out of its recess so you can see I can pull I can pull the barrel forward and you can see that locking action now what I'm going to do is there's a position in for the barrel in the slide if I push it forward and rotate it what would be um, clockwise the barrel if you were looking at it from from the uh, uh, from the rear um, it would be clockwise but it's actually counterclockwise or anti-clockwise if you're looking at it from the front of the gun uh, and you have to pull it forward and, and uh, get it to that point so okay so that's the next step in disassembly you can see the barrel is locked pretty solidly in there it's it's not moving it'll move forward of course but there's significant spring pressure stopping it so now I've got the bolt loose and you can see I could push on it well, I could push it further than I could push it before so what I'm going to do is get my fingernail up under the rear of that and push it back and then just lift it up out of that recess let me demonstrate that again so I'm going to get my fingernail up in behind that or you can also use a like a flat head screwdriver or something like that push the bolt back with your other finger lift up and then let the bolt go forward and there's just enough room on that spring that's the firing pin return spring to let the bolt fall out so the bolt is removed downward if, like that and away from the slide now you see i've got a firing pin and a firing pin spring it was just i just flipped those out of the front of the barrel there now never do this i'm going to demonstrate it once <laughs> i'm going to get it on camera I do this all the time. I'm a professional. Don't do it yourself. If I screw up, I'm sorry. It doesn't normally happen. I'm going to get everything else out of the way here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the barrel, the recoil spring sleeve, the recoil spring, and the slide apart. Now, in order to do that, I got a tool here. It's just a punch. I think it's a 3 16 punch, but it fits right in there. So I'm going to take my non-slip towel push forward on the barrel and turn it so that it's all the way back never let the thing go unless you absolutely have to what you'll notice is it goes back to a certain point and stops and that point the barrel is is actually a little further back than it would normally go because the bolt is is gone so it lets it go back a little bit further than it normally would now at that point you can look and you'll see there's an opening here that opening is wide enough to get the if you can see really well in there you might be able to see that the opening is always also down here it's just enough to get your sleeve here your spring sleeve down just a little bit now, I can't stick the punch in here because as you see that there's there's not enough room remember same thing with the pin going through here there's just literally not enough room uh, to, to, to get down into there. So what I'm going to do is push forward just a little bit to relieve tension on that and then I'm going to push see see how it went down just a little bit. I'll do that again. And now it goes down just a little bit. Now it stops and it's odd that they've designed it this way so the barrel is kind of tilting just a little bit now. If you can see the sleeve is stopped there but amazingly the hole is now free and I'm going to take advantage of that put the punch in so I don't have to use the towel and I've now got this as leverage and the barrel goes free the barrel is not really free and this is under spring tension and that could at any second fly off uh, so again this will be really hilarious to put on YouTube if I screw up but I'm not gonna try to screw up okay so I'm wiggling it down a little bit you don't want to go too far you just want the rear of the barrel to clear the uh, the cam lug there so it's pulling all the way out I'm hoping this spring doesn't fly out okay 
there I am. So with the barrel almost all the way, uh, uh, all the way out, I'm, I'm actually going to do something I said I wasn't going to do earlier. I'm going to push that little, that little uh, uh, sleeve there out. There you go. And see how it flew forward there? I had my thumb out of the way, but that can really hurt you. So now that's free. Everything is free and clear. Just pull that out of there, and it's disassembled. Now, with it disassembled, let me show you all the pieces. I'm probably going to cut the video somewhere in here, so it might be a new, vi new video. With it disassembled, I've now got, well, now I've got something done that I haven't seen done on any YouTube video or, or seen caught on video. I taught myself how to do this. I've got a couple of Remington Model 51s, and I, I'd like to consider myself at le least knowledgeable on the firearm. Uh, I don't know too many experts out there, but all right. Uh, I might cut the video here. I'll see you back in a minute if I do.